Hey everybody, it is Gerda here from Private Practice Success Australia and I just had to come on here and do a quick share. So I have just hopped off a 90 minute panel discussion with my Private Practice Success Academy members and the panel discussion was on the topic of managing cash flow. If you are in allied health Facebook groups and other types of communities across social media or even just in your face-to-face -face networks, then you have probably heard a lot of talk around cash flow and the impact it is having on private practices, which are small businesses as a general rule. So it was so important for me to bring this conversation into the PPS Academy and it did not disappoint. So it was 90 minutes of discussion and the panel members was yours truly, of course, as well as two of our Private Practice Success Academy coaches and mentors in the amazing Tiny Wood and Michelle Grovener. And um, it was a really interesting discussion. My EA at the end of the session, her comment was, it was a really heart-centered skills session. And who knew that talking about the flow of money in and out of your private practice could be heart-centered? Yes, it can. The thing is this, when it comes to money and your management of it, we cannot ignore the fact that we've got money beliefs that comes and stems from childhood beliefs around money, our personal experiences with money, and we have to start by acknowledging how that impacts. We absolutely cannot ignore the impact of those money beliefs and how that comes into play when we're trying to run a business. Uh, the thing that we did really brilliantly in this panel discussion was that we were able to acknowledge those things and then also balance that with really practical strategies that can support our members in managing their cash flow. The thing is this, cash flow in your business, it is the lifeblood. It is the lifeblood of your business. And what a lot of people do when they have cash flow problems is they step into contraction. It's like, I can't spend any money. And that is not the way to do that. That is you stepping into fear, and into scarcity, and that will not allow you to build your business. So we had a really great discussion about practical strategies for our uh, members to be able to not only get into positive cash flow by reaching it, but also continuing to build it, continuing to track and manage it, and really making it easy to get your hand out of the sand and step into an empowered way of managing your money. Because when you do that, it doesn't only benefit you as the practice owner, it benefits the business as a whole, but very importantly, it benefits your team and more importantly, even your clients. Because unless you manage your money properly in a way for you to still be able to grow, develop and expand your business, you can't keep your doors open. It is what it is. Now, if this is the type of support that you know you need within your business, please feel free to reach out. I will add in the link here to my triage form, asking you a couple of questions that will allow me to see if and how I can help you. I personally look at those. Don't try to do it alone, reach out. As I said, I will personally look at your responses and get back to you. And we might even set up a time to chat and we'll go from there. All right, you don't have to do this alone. Reach out and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.